Hey, it's Jonathan from Beard and Bot. I'm going to show you how to install the Y-axis rotary switcher for your Ortura Laser Master 2 Pro. It's really easy and doesn't require any modifications. Let's go. Inside the box, you will find the switcher, an alcohol pad and some 3M VHB tape, and a couple of cables. That's all you need to install the switcher. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your alcohol wipe and you're going to want to clean the back of the switcher. You want to get it nice and clean. So take it and give it a good scrub. Okay, then you want to take the same wipe and you want to clean the back of your y-axis stepper motor. Get any kind of grease or residue off of it. That way the tape will stick better. Okay, next you're going to take your VHB tape and you're going to peel it back and you're going to stick it between the two screws and make sure it's above the hole where the motor shaft is. Make sure it's stuck down really good. Put one at the top and then put one also at the bottom. Okay, now you're going to want to peel off the backing of the VHB tape. Take your Y-axis switcher, line the two sides up with the stepper motor, and line the top up with the stepper motor, and then give it a good push. Hold on to your laser, hold it there for a few seconds, that way the tape can start to hold. Okay. It needs to stay there for 24 hours for full strength. Now unplug your Y-axis motor and plug it into the 6-pin connector on the switcher. Make sure it's in all the way. Then grab the short cable that came with your kit. You want to plug the 4-pin connector into the switcher. And the other end, the 6-pin connector, goes into your Y-axis motor. Then when you want to use the rotary, you take the other included cable, you plug one end into your rotary, take the other end and you plug it into the switcher. There is a notch, so you got to line up the notches. You can tighten that nut, then you flip the switch at the top to R for rotary, and now you're ready to use your rotary. When you're done with your rotary, make sure you switch it back to Y, and then you can disconnect this connector. This connector is made to plug in and out lots of times without damaging anything. You can just leave it attached to your rotary axis and store this away for next time. And that's all there is to it. If you have any problems or if you have any questions about installation, just look me up on my website and shoot me a message.